I'm now joined by our NFL insider, Connor Hughes. And Connor, the Jets season ended on Sunday. For the 13th straight year, they are not in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. The longest drought in NFL. We heard from owner Woody Johnson on Thursday, and he said, despite all that, there is no mm -hmm. playoff mandate. <laughs> Yeah, no, there, there is a playoff mandate. Look, I mean, whether the Jets want to play the semantics game of there is, it's not a mandate, it's just a requirement, it's not a requirement, it's not a mandate, we just really want to see it. Look, this is going to be year three for Robert Sala. It's going to be year three of Robert Sala and Joe Douglas. The Jets cannot afford to not make the playoffs next year. And if they do not make the playoffs next year, Joe Douglas is going to be out of a job, Robert Sala is going to be out of a job, and we're going to be all the way back to square one of this rebuild. You know, I, I know the the team that Joe Douglas inherited in 2019 when, when he replaced Mike McCagney. And I know it was in dire shape, right? They were in cap hell. They had very little talent on the roster. Their, their draft picks in the past years were, were just a disaster. But, and the, the, kind of, the kind of saying that we all kept hearing was, was from the Jets and from people associated with Jets was Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day. Well, we're approach, approaching a millennia in, in NFL terms. It's time to turn this around. It's not about taking baby steps. It's not about pointing to next year. Next year is the year where the Jets have to make the playoffs. They have to make the playoffs or there are going to be significant and substantial changes on all levels of this team. And, and Woody Johnson did mention how he was impressed with how the defense went from pretty mm -hmm. much last to first, you know, last to first. Yeah. You know, he mentioned a lot of great positive, the building mm -hmm. boxes draft class, but he did mention the quarterback situation yeah. and now there's no offensive coordinator. So what happens now? Well, yeah, look, I mean, I think Woody Johnson basically told us what we all already know that the Jets are going to pursue heavily a veteran quarterback this offseason. In fact, what he said is that he believes a quarterback is the missing piece mm -hmm. to this team. Now, he doesn't. He's not giving up on Zach Wilson. No one's giving up on Zach Wilson. He said there were, you know, kernels that he'd seen of, of really promising play from year one and year two, and the Jets just need to find a way to build consistency between those kernels. So I guess you have a whole bunch of popcorn, you know, if you will. But, you know, the, the big thing, though, is that I think Woody Johnson realizes that the Jets cannot go into next year with just Zach Wilson as their quarterback. They need somebody proven, and he is more than willing to spend and do what it takes to get that quarterback here to Florham Park. You know, is that going to be Derek Carr? Is it going to be Jimmy Garoppolo? Could it be Lamar Jackson? We'll see, but I think it's it's pretty clear after talking to Robert Sala, talking to Joe Douglas, and now talking to Woody Johnson, there's going to be a new quarterback uh, here in Florham Park starting for the Jets in 2023. And who do you think is going to be the offensive coordinator? There is a list of guys, and when do you get that guy in? I mean, mm -hmm. they're going to have to rechange his offense, yeah, correct? Yeah, well, look, I mean, I, I think what Robert Sala told us that he's open to not only continuing the Kyle Shanahan coaching tree and that scheme, but he's also open to branching out above that. He's looking at young guys. He's looking at older guys. He's looking at young guys that he could pair uh, with a veteran consultant or ver veteran assistant to kind of have that two-headed approach at the offensive coordinator position. Look, everything is open, and I think that's probably the right thing for the Jets to do because at the end of the day, well, no matter what the Jets say, this coordinator vacancy, it isn't overly desirable. I mean, there are legitimate things d deterring candidates from potentially Including not necessarily having a quarterback <laughs> that's a big one also the, the non-mandate mandate is another one the offensive line uh you know some of the preconceived notions of, of who's involved in decision making and who's not involved in decision making all of those things are going to take proven candidates and turn them away so the jets need to catch that cast that wide net as robert Sala said and, and they kind of have to be okay with whatever comes up in that net once they pull it out of the water well connor it's been great Year yeah, one in your one. belt. Yeah, yeah, it's our last last one of the season. Mm -hmm. the and you still haven't learned. You or the Derek Carr trade. That's true. Yeah. Um, you still haven't learned to put a coat on when it's cold. Yeah, coat, hat. I said 50 Connor's degrees. Mama, I don't know what this is. Bree, yeah. come on. <laughs>